G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video I'm going to introduce you to advertising audiences in Advertising Studio and show you how to connect your Salesforce Marketing Cloud to your social media platforms so that you can publish audiences for advertising. So to begin with, what is Advertising Audiences? Well Advertising Audiences lets you choose your first party data, your subscribers in Salesforce Marketing Cloud and create segments with them to publish as audiences into your social media platforms. You can use these audiences as targets or suppression, allowing you to specifically target your messages to your known subscribers or to subtract them or suppress them from your advertising or acquisition campaigns. When used effectively, these advertising audiences can save your performance team a lot of ad spend by specifically removing your known subscribers from your acquisition campaigns. It also empowers them to create highly targeted existing customer groups to send very specialized messaging to your known subscriber base. For example, being able to send to your disengaging or lapsing customers on your social media platforms to engage with them on a different channel and truly reach them anywhere. Now, publishing your first party data into your advertising platforms is not a new thing. Many of these platforms have had these features for a long time. Unfortunately, they had to be done manually by manually uploading a CSV containing the email addresses or phone numbers of your known subscribers. With advertising audiences, this is all done automatically. The data that you load into advertising audiences is published to your social media platforms once per day, allowing you to automate the entire process. So that's enough about how cool it is. Let's now talk about how to set up advertising audiences in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. To begin with, we are here on advertising audiences, which we access through the top menu selector in advertising studio, advertising audiences. Once we're in here, you can see our start menu here is our main overview dashboard. On this screen, we can see how many audiences we currently have set up some stats about our match counts and how many contacts are currently in our Marketing Cloud instance. On the bottom, we can see our audiences and we can choose to filter them to display various audiences based on their creation date, their status and their ad network. From here, the first thing we have to do is to connect our very first social platform to advertising audiences. To do this, we go up to administration and then choose to add a new ad network. We can do this by clicking on the ad network that we want to add. For today, I'm going to choose LinkedIn, so I click on the LinkedIn tile. Once you click on the tile, you'll be asked to sign in to the relevant social platform. I can do this by clicking sign in and making sure you enter the credentials for your business that you are trying to sign in for. It's a good idea to make sure you talk to your social media manager and get them to log in with their admin account. This way you'll have full access to connect your marketing cloud with that platform's advertising network. Once the sign in process is complete, you can then choose from the advertising account on that relevant platform. For today, I'm going to choose Cam's ad account, click it, and then click save. And as you can see, I now have my very first account connected, my LinkedIn account for Cam's ad network. With our configuration done, we can now return to the main overview screen by pressing on overview. With our social platform connected, our next step is to create our first audience. We can do this by going to the top right hand side and clicking on the create audience button. Once here, we can choose a name for our audience. I can choose test cam for this audience. I can put a description here as well. I can also choose the destination or the platform I wish to use this audience on. For today, I'm gonna to use the LinkedIn one as it's the only network I've connected. The ad account, of course, I will choose my ad account. Once done, I can press on the configure button. And this brings me to the configuration page for my audience. Now each page will be slightly different for each advertising platform. This of course is the LinkedIn configuration page. The Google, Facebook and other ones are slightly different. So the first thing I have to do is to choose the source data for my audience. I can do this by clicking on the data extensions button and then once my window loads, I can choose the data extension to publish into this audience. Now I've gone ahead and created a LinkedIn audience data extension in my advertising audiences folder. So I can navigate now to my data extensions and into my advertising audiences folder and choose my LinkedIn data extension. There it is. Once I click on top of it, I can then choose the select option. Next, I need to choose some information for my LinkedIn audience. The first thing is to choose the identifier type for this data. Are my uploading user or company data? Well, I know that my data contains a few users, so I'll choose the user option. Next, I choose the attributes. These are the attributes inside of my data extension. I can simply drag and drop the information from the left hand column into the right to match my data extension fields with the LinkedIn identifiers. So if I scroll down, I'll find either my work email address or my email address fields. 
This one I'm going to use the work email address, dragging and dropping across to match it, and there we are all matched. Finally, I can go down to my notification settings. I can choose to send notifications to myself if an event occurs, if an audience upload is completed, the audience is refreshed, or an error occurs. I normally recommend to choose the on error occurs option, that way if something goes wrong you can be notified and fix it up quickly. For now though, I'll leave this one turned off, go up to the top and choose to save my audience. Now that it's saved, I can do the final step which is to publish the audience. Now by doing this I click on activate, and once I do it says, do you wish to refresh this audience manually, or refresh it on a schedule? Through the schedule, I click on the schedule option, and then choose how often to refresh it. So I can choose to refresh it every one day at 1pm. Or for example, I could choose to do it first thing in the morning, so let's say at 6am every day. Then go activate. And that's it. My audience is now published and will start to match into the LinkedIn network. Now each network does have a minimum matching threshold before the audience will appear inside of that ad network. Double check the Salesforce documentation to know what the current rates are for each social and advertising platform. I'll put a link to this page in the video description below. Once you click publish on your audience, you can then tell your advertising specialist team to have a look in their platform for the audience name you just published. I'm right now inside of my LinkedIn campaign manager tool, I can see my test cam audience has been published and is currently building from the third party source of Salesforce. And once that audience has finished building, your campaign team can then use that audience as an active target or suppression for their ongoing campaigns. And there we go. That's how easy it is to set up advertising audiences inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud to send your first party subscriber data onto your social platforms for targeting and suppression. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.